Hello, dear colleagues. We are here today to discuss the next topic in the series of our webinars devoted to the system of uh, channels according to traditional Chinese medicine. And today's topic is large intestine channel. I remind you that this webinar is based on the materials uh, provided by our specialist PhD and reflexologist, uh, the author of the repulsive acupuncture extension, Sergei Kasinsev. And please feel free to ask any questions. Uh, Sergei Kasinsev will be glad to answer them a bit later. So, uh, let's start. Today we are going to discuss large intestine channel, its main characteristics, projection area and functional use, as well as power points of this channel and method of influencing this channel, how to use biological active points of this channel to get the best possible result. This channel is uh, the second according to the big uh, celestial circle of energy circulation. And uh, according to Chinese tradition, it is called Shou uh, Yan Min Da Chan Zin, as you can see it on your screen. So uh, let's take it to pieces. It will help us to catch its essential idea. Shou means hand. And this channel includes 20 points. Uh, it starts uh, on hand uh, from the area of the index finger and then goes up towards your head and finishes uh, at the wing of nose. Next part of its name is Yan Min. Uh, you should remember that there are three Yan energy levels according to the scheme of six harmonies, Lu He scheme. And, uh, in the channel of the large intestine, as well as in the stomach channel, the yang energy is minimal among these three yang levels of energy. The next part is Da Chan. Uh, it stands here for large intestine itself, uh, according to Chinese language. And the last is Zin. Zin means uh, uh, the flow of energy in the system and also it can be translated as channel and meridian so pay attention to the context it can be both channel or meridian by the way here it is exactly uh, the six harmonies that i've already mentioned and here you can see energy levels of yang category and the very first, the first level which meets all uh, pathogenic factors is called Tai Yan. And for example, uh, when we are treating cold diseases, then we should influence exactly this level. Tai Yan level is very good in colds. Uh, the next is Shao Yan, and the third is Yan Min. Uh, here exactly belongs our channel of large intestine and stomach channel. If we are talking about Usin uh, system or system of elements, we should say that uh, the large intestine channel refers to the metal element and it is connected to the lungs. As you may know, lungs as an organ is included in the in organs group. So lungs is in organ and large intestine is yang organ. In the Ayurvedic system, channels of large intestine and lungs channel, uh, they belong to vata category. Here are some features of the system and for what this system is responsible for.
the name of the system itself shows us that it is connected to digestion, digestion and large intestine. But it's very important to understand that functions of a system uh, exceed just anatomical classification, which is used in Western medicine. And any system uh, in traditional Chinese medicine uh, is responsible uh, for different aspects. Uh, the most important one is uh, interaction or cooperation with the energy. And we should understand how each system is connected to this vital energy. Uh, if we are talking about the large intestine channel, you can see it's responsible for directing C downwards. So, if uh, it doesn't cope with its function, directing C downwards, then you know, we will have an imbalance and practically any disorder connected to it will be due to the reason because the energy cannot reach all cells of our body. Also, you can see it influences digestion, digestive breathing, cardiovascular systems, as well as pain syndrome. In uh, Chinese medicine, uh, there are two systems uh, that are the most important when we are talking about influence in pain sy syndrome, uh, when we are talking about struggling pain. And these two systems are the system of large intestine channel and uh, the system of gallbladder. You can see our large intestine channel is connected to stomach because the digestion it starts uh, in the area of stomach and finishes uh, with waste excretion. Also, uh, energetic axis, which is called Yan Min, points at uh, the digestion, the process. So, uh, how uh, all the elements will be digested, uh, whether they will be digested well or not, um, exact, it is exactly the large intestine channel uh, which is responsible for it. It plays very important role here because it allows uh, digestive juices and uh, food bolus to move along the digestive system uh, along with the thin energy and as well as it allows uh, the energy to reach each cell of our body at the energy level. Uh, we can use uh, mucous membranes of uh, our digestive breathing or cardiovascular system. Uh, then uh, we've got some disorders of these mucous membranes we should remember about our large intestine channel and uh, we should try to influence biological active points of this channel because it can give us a very good result in such cases. Uh, for example, um, if uh, there is any superficial inflammatory process, uh, the large intestine channel uh, will be a good decision for you to use. And uh, very important point of this channel is the point number four. The fourth point of the large intestine channel, it is called Hegu, and it is one of the most popular points in Chinese medicine because it's a very powerful point and it gives a very good result. For example, Hegu point can uh, restore digestion and can help to restore our mucous membranes. But uh, we should say here that uh, this is a very powerful point and you are not recommended to use it in each session with your patient. For example, if you are using this point daily and uh, in some more than seven times, uh, then uh, you can get a contrary opposite result. 
uh, you will have no uh, restoration of your digestion or mucous membranes. On the contrary, uh, there can be a decline of uh, these functions. Moreover, Sergei Kasintsev met some samples in literature, then this point, uh, this point, Hegu point, uh, was used more than 10 times. And in this case, even uh, some stomach and uh, intestinal bleedings were registered. So you can see this point, it, sustain, it can sustain and nourish in short time period, but at the same time, it can exhaust in a long term period. So um, pay attention to this, please. Then you are making prescription for your patients. Let's go on and say a few words about uh, in yan ties. In this system, in yan system, we can see a connection of uh, the large intestine channel to the lungs channel. Uh, and uh, it means a connection to the breathing system. So it's important for us because all uh, toxic waste that uh, were not uh, excreted uh, when necessary, we will stay and we will influence, first of all, uh, lung uh, system and uh, our breathing system. Uh, there is a rule in Chinese medicine uh, which uh, tells us uh, that any disordered function which was not realized properly is compensated by the paired organ. And here, when we are talking about the large intestine channel, uh, its paired, paired organ will be the lungs. So if there are any waste uh, in our body, then uh, it will give a toxic stress for our breathing system. Also, if a patient has a dysbacteriosis, for example, and you know dysbacteriosis is just an altered function of our intestine, in this case, his uh, breathing system will suffer also. And those who are amenable to bronchopulmonary pathologist such persons uh, will have a more frequent ex exacerbation in case of some uh, dysbacteriosis or other disorders uh, connected to the large intestine channel. Talking about interesting features of this um, channel, we should mention that exactly biological points of this channel can increase our pain threshold. It means that people with a high pain threshold, they are insensible to pain or they feel pain much less than ours. It is connected to the uh, analgetic action, analgetic effect of some points and among them the first will be exactly Hegu that we've already mentioned. Point number four and it's a uh, total leader in uh, this analgetic effect. So if uh, there is any pain in the upper part of our body, it can be a toothache, it can be some pain syndrome in ear, nose or throat, also it can be some pains uh, in the area of our eyes. In all these cases it is very good to use um, Hegu point point number four of the large intestine channel. And also don't forget please about our mucous membranes. Um, as we already mentioned, this point will be good in their treatment too. You can see it opens through the nose. The last point of this channel is located uh, near the nasal vein. And also, don't forget about uh, its connection to the lungs channel. Mirror of this channel. Skin, hair, nails. This mirror is the same as the for the lungs channel. It belongs to the energy element of metal. And uh, 
for example uh, sometimes it it is quite easy to choose between uh, the reason of a disorder uh, whether it is about lung channel or whether it is about large intestine channel because uh, they are both a manifestation of yin and yang energy so uh, a very simple example from Sergei Kasinsev just very ordinary case about pimples and spots for example uh, if such pimples uh, just disappear within one or three days then it means they are connected to the yang energy and the reason is exactly in yang energy so uh, yang energy here stands for the large intestine channel if such rush stands um, for five days or longer maybe for 10 days uh, then it is connected to the in energy and here it is recommended to use biological active points which belong to the lung channel to the in channel in this pair uh, the same is actual about some uh, moments connected to your nails uh, you can see if nails lose shining if uh, there are any irregularities imperfections so that is mostly connected also to the male function of the large intestine pay attention to this science when you're making a diagnosis talking about taste you can see it here it is spicy or hot um, the hot taste influences uh, breathing system and uh, excretory function very well and if there is no uh, other anatomical changes it can be something like a uh, protraction of large intestine or other changes if there are no changes uh, then hot taste and food with hot taste is uh, recommended for patients and it helps to improve stool and the intestine itself starts working in more active way starts working better in emotional part it is connected to sadness and melancholy and if your patient is uh, very concentrated on one problem on a particular moment in his life then it should be connected to the channel of lungs and to the large intestine channel in this case you should use biological active points uh, of five elements don't forget uh, first of all about shoe point number five in this case uh, shoe point uh, will be located in the elbow area and uh, also use point number 11 for the channel of large intestine point number 11 is called Tu Chi in Chinese tradition and it is the best point to influence uh, psychological moments and emotional state of a person point number 11 of the large intestine channel uh, you can make diagnosis also using points of five elements and the main here will be point which is called the element in the element and the gap point or interspace point as an analgetic point you can try to press them and if there are any unpleasant feelings or some impulses strong impulses then it means that um, here is a problem with an imbalance of energy and congestion of energy in this system in the end of our webinar you'll be presented a recommended a method of passing of the large intestine channel uh, passing uh, means influencing biological active points of this channel so if after diagnosis these uh, points uh, the point of 
uh, element in the element and gap point if these two points are painful then you can use this uh, recommended actions on passing the channel once a day or maybe twice a day it will be a good treatment in this case here you can see exactly power points of large intestine channel what we've started to discuss points of elements they are the most important points on the large intestine channel We should say that power points, they are not different from other biological active points from the point of our anatomical idea, but uh, they are special, they are different when we are talking about method of influencing, method of working with them. There are few levels of working uh, with biological active points. Uh, they are physical, emotional, and psychological. And it's very important for us to find the right attitude when working with these uh, biological active points belonging to the system of power points. And first of all, before influencing them, you should form your mental message. And Sergei Kasinsev recommends you to use their Chinese names and to address these biological active points according to their Chinese names. Uh, you can find their Chinese uh, classification in Vedapals with transcriptions into English in acupuncture extension. Points of five elements are leading points they are main points and um, they stand uh, in the following way they start at finger tips it's very important for us uh, because uh, young meridians have their own sequence and in meridians uh, they have uh, other um, another their own sequence of how these um, points of elements stand. It's always the same uh, for yin and for yang, but it's different if we start to compare. Uh, so um, it is uh, the sequence of yang meridian power points of elements. First, three of them start at finger tips. You can see it, it's about metal, water, and wood. The earth element point um, is located um, near the elbow or knee, and the point of fire element it stands between the wood and the earth. And don't forget that uh, this interaction always comes according to Usin circle. It goes uh, Usin circle wise, uh, where metal gives birth to water, water gives birth to wood, wood to the fire, and so on. The most important points here are point uh, which is called the element in the element also sedative point and tonifying point. Point of the metal element, here it is uh, element in the element point. Uh, it is the first point uh, on the large intestine channel and it is called uh, GE here you can see G1 according to the French uh, classification. The next point is a sedative point. It can decrease energy level. It can calm energy down than necessary in the system of the large intestine. And it has uh, the number 2, G2. 
a tonify and tonic point uh, belongs to the earth element it is GE11 point interspace point uh, GE7 is called Wen Lu in Chinese and it shows um, even minimal stress even minimal tension of energy in the channel as well as uh, the blockage of energy so use this point uh, and point the element in the element as the most sensitive points for diagnosis uh, these points uh, they allow to find out um, to which system disorder or impairment is connected to don't forget to check points on both sides of your body when making diagnosis because there can be different feelings on the right side and on the left side it is connected to the fact that blockage of energy uh, can be independent and if your right side is quite well is quite fine it doesn't mean that uh, everything is well on the left side so check both sides please and for example if uh, there is some blockage on the left side uh, then you should work with biological active points paying attention to the left side but at the same time don't forget about the right one because each system is symmetrical let's say a few words about low point here it is GE7 point it is called Pan Li in Chinese and it can redistribute an excess of energy uh, to the paired channel of lungs but Sergei Kosinsev says that it's not very actual option because energy comes back very soon uh, it is a specific moment for this pair uh, of lungs and uh, large intestine channels uh, but always pay attention to such moments consider them when making your prescription if you are using Veda Pulse prescription it takes into account such moments other two important points are more and true points and uh, they are interesting because they not always uh, belong to their own channels if we are talking about more point it is always located on the anterior surface of our body and uh, for the large intestine channel it will be point E25 so uh, point number 25 in the channel of stomach all shoe points are located on the back and in our case then we are talking about large intestine channel uh, its shoe point uh, will be located uh, on the first line of the urinary bladder channel it will be point uh, B25 and in Chinese it is called Da Chang Shu these points are segmental uh, for organs you can use them to influence organs pathologies and we are going to go into particulars about it now don't forget that course of a channel has internal links internal ties to cognominal organ it is not only about physical part large intestine uh, but it has uh, uh, more deep connections but you can use points E25 and B25 to influence uh, as well as large intestine as physical organ and also to define some emotions and uh, psychological components connected to it more point uh, has more influence uh, for in component and shoe point is better to use to influence yang category yang component
use these two points together more and true if you are using only one of them you will get a totally different effect different from what we are describing now oh hello susan uh, i've just saw your question could you put the diagram on please mm. are there any problems now can you see the screen or the PowerPoint presentation? Is it okay now? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> so let's go on. Our next slide shows um, the location of uh, shoe and more points on our body. The first one, more point, is uh, very easy to find. Uh, it is located uh, aside the navel and exactly two tsun aside the navel. Uh, you should remember that tsun is a unique, um, uh, unique unit of measurement. And talking about two tsun here, we should say that uh, they will be equal to the width of uh, index, middle and ring fingers when you put them together. So you put three fingers together, index, middle and ring fingers, and you get uh, this um, measurement unit, tu tsun, tu tsun. When we are talking about shoe point, it is uh, more complicated to find, especially if you don't have enough experience in working with the spine. So, Sergei Kasinsev recommends you to train on your friends, on your relatives, and try to find it initially, uh, then before starting finding it on yourself. It is located on the back. And it is located at a distance on one and a half tsun from the posterior middle line between the fourth and the fifth lumbar vertebrae. So the fourth and the fifth lumbar vertebrae, they are the last and the last but one lumbar vertebrae, just behind the sacrum. One and a half tsun will be equal uh, to your two fingers index finger and middle finger so these two fingers uh, will be equal to one and a half soon don't forget then you're working with a patient you should take um, his fingers uh, as an sample not not yours because it's uh, an individual system of measurement. Let's talk about biological active points belonging to the large intestine channel. The first point is called Shan Yan. It is the point of metal element and for our today's channel, large intestine channel, it is also the point which is called the element in the element. It is located on your index finger from the thumb's side and uh, in the area of your nail. If you imagine a line going along the base uh, of your nail and the second line going along the um, surface uh, side surface of your nail, then in the place of their junction will be the point. Don't forget that you can influence such uh, final points located near the nail with your own nails, but be careful because skin here is very sensitive. Uh, you can try to do it now. For example, put your nail where it is shown on your screen. 
try to catch this biological active point and uh, you should feel uh, a painfulness. These points, they are painful always. And if you don't feel any um, painful moments that influence in this point, it means that there is uh, a lack of energy in the system and it can be connected to the hyperfunction of this system. So pay attention to this. Then working with such uh, final points near nails. The next point, point number two, is called Erdian in China, the point of water element, and this point is good for uh, its sedative effect. Put your hand uh, into fist, uh, like knuckle. Don't press uh, too much. Just make a fist and uh, find the place where the third phalanx ends. And here you will find our point at the place of transition of a shaft to condylus. Uh, those who are fond of boxing or uh, some other uh, active sports similar to boxing, uh, they use these uh, small bones um, and they are trying to make them thicker and firmer. So try to find it, try to find our point in this area. The next slide, the next point. It is located uh, in the area of hand dorsum, dorsum of a hand. Try to feel the outstanding part of this area and um, you will find the biological active point at the, at the zone where this outstanding part uh, becomes uh, less, uh, uh, less noticeable. It is uh, the point number three in the large intestine channel system. It is called Xianjian and belongs to the wood element. The fourth point is located uh, on your wrist and it is Hegu point, as you should understand. It belongs to the Yuan points also. It means that it is connected to our natural innate energy and it is a very powerful point. It is easy to find it. You can try to make palpation and just uh, press bone of your wrist a little bit. Uh, press it just after the index finger and in the center you will feel um, a light greatness or so you will feel something similar to a um, slight deepening. It's a very individual point, so uh, each person can have it uh, not strictly halfway of this distance, but somewhere near the halfway. Mm, so pay attention to the feeling of greatness exactly, to find it. Or, or also you can try the following. Just touch the projection of a second uh, metacarpal bone uh, with the pad of your index finger and uh, in some moment uh, you will feel something similar to sticking or freezing effect or, or something similar to slowing down and it will be exactly over the epicentrum of the point Hegu. This effect of sticking or effect of slowing down, it's common effect for all biological active points. Uh, but uh, as well as this point number for Hegu is very powerful, it is really easy to feel this uh, sticking 
exactly over this biological active point. So it can be a good point for your training of this feeling of finding biological active points. Let's go on. The next point, point number five, it is called Yan C. It belongs to the fire element and uh, it is located in so called anatomical snuff box. To find it, uh, just place your thumb in the upper position, like put it up to see the tendon. And you will see something similar to deepening than putting your thumb in this position. And uh, our point will be located in the epicentrum of this deepening. Quite deep, by the way. Uh, this uh, anatomical structure has a funny interest in naming anatomical snuff box uh, due to the history. Uh, because people used to put a dose of tobacco exactly at this place of the hand in the Middle Ages. Uh, so we have this naming just since that times. Now we are going to discuss the point number 11 and then we'll come back to the point number 6 and number 7. Point number 11 is called Tsui Chi. It is about earth element and it is a stimulating tonic point for the large intestine channel. To find it, uh, you need to see your elbow joint. Try to see it from the external outer side. Bend your elbow in the way to have your palm up, palm up position. And uh, on the side of your thumb, you will find the point. Look at the bent elbow joint. You will see the end of the elbow crease, of the elbow fold. And if you will go down from the end of this crease, you will feel uh, an outstanding knuckle. It is called uh, ectocondyle in medical traditions and our point is located a uh, halfway of a distance between this bone, ectocondyle and uh, the end of elbow crease and it lays in a deep position. It is deep point. When you are influencing it, you need to press in the direction to the muscles or bones. If you are interested, you can try to find it now at yourself. It is important point because we need it to find points number 6 and number 7. Imagine the line which could connect point number 5, Yansi point, and point number 11, Tsuichi point. Or you can remember our anatomical snuff box. Just imagine this line to connect uh, the anatomical snuff box to the point number 5. And then just divide this line into 12 equal cuts. You will get an individual tsun for your hand, hand tsun. And uh, point number six, which is called Pan Li, it is also low point in the large intestine channel system, is located free tsun distant from point number five. Also, if you'd like, you can calculate one-fourth of a distance between point number 5 and point number 11. The next point, um, Wen Liu point, point number 7. 
and uh, it is uh, five proportional cuts distant uh, from point number five. Correspondingly, if you will go from your elbow, uh, it uh, stands uh, in seven proportional cuts from it. This point is quite good. Uh, then you need to make diagnosis in congestion. It can show also blockage of energy in the channel large intestine. Uh, that are the main points and uh, all of them are very common used in acupuncture, in massage techniques and in all possible influences uh, in the system of biological active points. And we are continuing now. Let me remind you about ties of the large intestine channel. It belongs to the metal element and according to the Indian idea it is connected to the lungs channel. They are connected uh, by means of a low point for large intestine channel it is GE6 and it can redistribute energy to the point uh, P9. You can see it on your screen now, its scheme. And uh, then after it, um, through the point number 7, by the way, it will be a low point of the LAN channel, energy can be redistributed to the HEGU point, UN point of this system. You can see, according to Ayurvedic tradition, the large intestine channel is connected to the Vata dosha. When we are analyzing relationships, uh, which are called uh, husband-wife system, on the scheme of the pulse diagnosis, then we can see that uh, the channel of small intestine controls the condition of the large intestine channel. So, small intestine channel manages the large intestine channel. And if there is a hypofunction of the large intestine, then it is reasonable to try to, to find the reason in some allergies some allergic uh, reactions on the food. And you understand that uh, small intestine is responsible for interaction with our food digested. That's why it's uh, recommended to work with biological active points of a small intestine channel. Uh, then we need to normalize the course of energy in the large intestine channel. Now you should remember that uh, we've got not only 12 main meridians but also we've got um, so-called uh, tendus muscular meridians for each system. And uh, this uh, tendus muscular meridian it is similar to the main meridian and uh, in some part it uh, repeats the energy flow of the main meridian. But uh, there are some additional zones uh, that uh, don't include biological active points of this system. Uh, now on your screen you can see tendus muscular meridian of the large intestine. You can see it starts uh, near the index finger, then it goes uh, through the wrist, then it goes to the elbow joint, then it goes next uh, to the shoulder joint, 
and then along the neck it goes by the mandible to the uh, nasal vein and here is uh, in one interesting moment our different Chinese schools consider various readings about it about the position of large intestine meridian in the area of nose and uh, it is uh, true for both main and uh, tendus muscular meridians some schools uh, suppose that the channel ends uh, at the nasal wing at the same side uh, from which uh, it uh, starts but other authors they suppose that uh, there is a crossing and these authors they say that the large intestine channel goes under the nose and uh, ends on another side if you are interested um, Sergei Kosintsev, our expert, uh, supposes that um, such a crossing exists. This tendus muscular meridian uh, gives a, a branch. It goes up. It goes about the head, uh, turns the head, and then it goes to the mandible. Uh, from the opposite side you can see it also on your screen now we should say about the big zone on the back uh, this zone is connected to the function of shoulder joint and uh, normally it looks like a um, triangular and uh, it's very common case that this zone can be uh, very painful for example where can be some muscular painful induration or it is also called uh, sometimes uh, as a zone of uh, hyperesthesis like the zone of a very high sensibility um, by the way, some of your clients uh, in cold or in uh, such conditions as uh, uh, scapular humeral periarthritis, or in other words, frozen shoulder, uh, such patients can feel uh, the stiffness of uh, the possibility to move, and they can feel uh, painful zones of muscular tension in this area. So you should know in this case that these zones uh, they depend on the biological active points on the channel of the large intestine so in all these states and conditions that we've just enumerated you can influence uh, the large intestine channel to treat your patient let me say also about inner curves of the channel this channel have two branches and the first branch starts uh, in the posterior triangle of neck it goes inside it connects to the lungs then it penetrates diaphragm and uh, ends at the large intestine as an organ is an anatomical organ. Other branch goes along the posterior middle meridian to its uh, point number 14. This point number 14 of the posterior middle meridian is located uh, under the spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra, or sometimes uh, this uh, spinous process of the seventh cervical vertebra is called a uh, nuchal bone it is the most outstanding point uh, in the neck area and from this place it goes along the external course of the stomach channel gets down to the feet um, and meets uh, the stomach channel at the area under point 
number 36, which is called Zhu San Li Point. So, put it simply, this point is located uh, under the knee. In more detail, we'll describe it than talking about uh, the corresponding channel, the stomach channel. If we are talking about uh, Yan Min connection, Yan Min ties, then we should say about coupling uh, with a stomach channel. Uh, not all Chinese literature sources say about this additional branch, but some of them do. They say that this additional branch uh, doubles uh, and uh, supports the connection. It works as a connection between stomach and large intestine because it is the beginning and the final part of all our digestion process and uh, they both influence digestion very much. Let's go on. You can see projection areas, projection zones according to the ideas of two scientists, Saharin and Head. If we are talking about the large intestine channel, then its projection area by Saharin Head will be located over the navel and it will look like a circle of the size of your patient fist. So, like a fist uh, putting over the navel. It is how to find the projection area of the large intestine channel according to the system of the heroin and head. The next slide is about projection areas on the face. Some of these projection zones are very famous. It is also called sometimes Min Xian zones, or zones with a projection on the facial surface. Here you can see projection of the large intestine on the forehead. Some Chinese schools of traditional medicine suppose that it looks um, as it is shown here. In the upper part uh, at the angle of hair growth, uh, but other schools, they turn it upside down. You see here something like large intestine. So some schools suppose it looks like this and others they put this picture upside down. And um, as if uh, the direct part of the large intestine uh, was at the top and uh, the beginning and the end um, would be closer um, to temporal fossa. Pay attention to this area when making facial diagnosis uh, because uh, such uh, symptoms as rash, moles, pigmentation along the perimeter of the forehead, all of them are signals uh, for you to pay attention to the large intestine channel. Also condition of the lower lip can reflect the large intestine condition. And if uh, the lower lip is much bigger uh, than the upper one, it says us about a uh, hypermotor function of large intestine. And uh, if uh, they are analyzing it from psychological point of view, it uh, says about uh, 
it will tell us about inclination to perceive uh, our world uh, from material positions. By the way, Sergei Kasintsev uh, supposes uh, such some surgery operation as um, Botox to be um, not useful from point of view of Chinese traditional medicine because uh, such influences as uh, pumping up lips with Botox or other drugs, uh, they can also be external influence uh, for the condition of our channel system. And sure, it will be not positive for us. Pay attention to the nasal wings. They can indicate a congestion and uh, as well as uh, we said it uh, about the lung meridian, pay attention to this zone. Because if uh, there are some uh, capillaries at this area, it can be a sign for you which tells about congestion. If uh, there are uh, venous capillaries, it will be a congestion connected to the small intestine. If there are arterial, uh, such reddish uh, capillaries, it means that uh, lungs feel stress in this case. Talking about special uh, male and female zones for this channel, uh, we should say that they are in front of the acoustic duct on the right side in men and on the left side in women. We are responsible for functioning of the large intestine according to the facial diagnosis. And now we are coming to the practical part of our today's webinar. And it will be a practical launch of uh, our energy system. Uh, today we are talking about the large intestine channel. But to make uh, this system working well, it is recommended uh, to make a practical uh, preliminary launch of the small circle of energy circulation, small celestial circle which includes posterior middle meridian and anterior middle meridian. By the way, you can influence biological active points of these two meridians uh, severally or individually, but um, also you can do it uh, within this celestial circle and as we've already mentioned before, the key points here will be EG, free point, and um, it will be uh, the point uh, for posterior middle meridian. And also point uh, P7 for anterior middle meridian. And then uh, you just uh, should go on and use projection of these meridians to make a launch of this uh, celestial circle of energy. Here you can see now key point P7 and its location. Uh, where does it originate from? I mean, uh, where does uh, the large intestine channel originate from? How do you think uh, whether it originates from the sky or from the earth? Please, you can type if you'd like on chat, for example. Where does the large intestine channel originate from?
uh, let me remind you that it is Yan channel. Yan channel. And you remember in our first lecture, uh, we had a picture of uh, the initial man with a scheme of flowing of Yan and in energy. And Yan channels, they come from the sky. So, to feel, uh, you need to place your feet uh, in a right position and put your hands in the air. You remember, Yan means Kim. Uh, Yan energy should go to the center of the body. And in this case, so in this case, we should start with the area of our head. Uh, sorry, sorry, not we were head. Sure, we should start uh, from the index finger, uh, from the outer surface of our index finger, and then we should uh, go on uh, moving uh, in the direction of our head along the projection of uh, our channel to the shoulder, first of all, on the outer surface of our arm. Then, along the posterior triangle of the neck. Then we should use the zone of our neck, but uh, we should do it very carefully. And then uh, we uh, go on and uh, continue influencing our face in the area of a lower angle of mandible. in the direction of philtrum. Philtrum is uh, just the same as uh, infranasal depression. It is located under the nose and uh, over the upper lip and uh, it finish, uh, we finish our clapping, our influence in the channel with uh, slightly clapping on the nasal wing. When we are influencing some small areas, as for example fingers, we can use uh, two or three fingers of our hand. And uh, then we are moving next using all our hand, like in the position of handful, uh, we are going on to this area, to this final point near the nose. Clapping uh, these zones one by one. And for example, if uh, you cannot hear your clapping, then you're influencing fingers. Then, when you're moving to the hand and um, to the wrist, here your clapping should be hearable. It is better to do this manipulation than your patient uh, is in some light t-shirt without jacket. If it is comfortable for you and for your patient, you can do it uh, just directly on the skin. Sure, pay attention to the outside temperature and uh, to the conditions. They should be comfortable for your patient. Then after this work, we should go on and influence inner curves of the meridian. Start with a posterior triangle of the neck, then uh, go down to the area of nipple. From the nipple, you should uh, go down again uh, to the navel. And here, at the level of the navel, you should stop. Uh, make influence uh, at the point E25, which is aside from the navel. Uh, you can do it now, or you can try to repeat all this passing after our webinar. If you'd like, you can repeat it even one or two times. Uh, it will be it will be not uh, bad, so it will be only useful for you. And in any situations connected to the 
dysfunction of intestine to the malfunction of breathing digestive systems uh, with such a common problem as a hypertension with uh, stiffness of the spine painful syndromes in the area of your elbow or shoulder joint in any case you can use this method of passing the large intestine channel it is strongly recommended to use it uh, also if you need to include uh, the Yanmin axis um, you can start at the same way from the posterior triangle of the neck then you can make your clapping in the direction of the nipple and then uh, along the line uh, in the direction of your knee and stop under the knee on the external part of your leg why do we do so because it is the place uh, where uh, the stomach channel appears and it is it is connecting here with our channel large intestine so uh, if uh, there are some conditions connected to inflammation of the stomach or some changed uh, acidity of the stomach uh, this uh, method of passing is also recommended the last but not the least we should mention the month of, of the large intestine channels activity it is March and don't forget that uh, March in Chinese tradition mm, does not coincide on 100% with European uh, calendar for example Chinese March it lasts uh, up to the 4th of April in European tradition so it means in this time it is very useful to make clapping to use this method of passing of large intestine channel or to massage points of large intestine channel because this is the calendar biological time which gives uh, additional activity to these biological active points so thank you for your attention and please if you have any questions feel free to send them on chat now and uh, our specialist Rika Sintsev will answer them be sure thank you for your attention oh thank you Susan for sharing your experience thank you oh and for your positive feedback also I should say thank you um, yes our specialist of technical support says that you can send a review if you'd like on our website we'll appreciate it also okay if uh, there are no questions for now hope to see you in a week and thank you for your time bye